What's up guys, it's Greg from DearBlogger.org and in this video I'm going to show you not only how to create your own custom email newsletter with constant contact, complete with an ebook built with their easy drag and drop email editor, but also those preliminary steps like how to add a subscribe form to your blog and also how to create a custom email that looks like you at yourbrand.com. Alright guys, so I'm going to go away for now so that we can focus on the tutorial. So to get started and try Constant Contact, you just want to open up the notes below the video. This is just our previous video as an example. Just click Show More. You'll see a link for Constant Contact, a little bit.ly or Google link. Click on that. And then just go ahead and pop in your email. And click Start Your Free Trial. And we're going to make a password. Just pop in our name and email and I'm just gonna go through this and set up a new free trial even though I already have like my own super awesome account and this way you can just see exactly how it's done you can do it side by side and then phone number and just click get started all right we'll take their marketing service options why not and continue All right, so we just need to create two things to get constant contact working, which is one, an email list, which is basically just a list of contacts that you'll gather as you get more subscribers, an email list, that's the first thing. And the second one is just a auto response that goes out right when someone subscribes to say hello, and in our case, to deliver an ebook. So you're gonna learn all these other fancy words throughout the process, like campaign and blah, 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 but basically it boils down to those two things for us right now email list and auto response. All right, so let's just go through the little survey here and next. All right, now from this screen with the six boxes, we see we have a lot we could do. For now, I just want us to come up to the top left and click campaigns. And they give us one campaign to start, which is a welcome email, so let's click that. So because Constant Contact is so user-friendly and easy, they already set up this auto response, AKA a welcome email, which goes out to all new signups right when they subscribe. All we need to do is just click on this little preview and see what they gave us. Cool, so that's what will go out right now. And we actually just wanna edit it. So let's go back to our campaigns. And on the right, under more, just click edit. And edit. And it says drag and drop your way to beautiful emails. Well, don't mind if we do. So let's actually and it's gonna give us a tutorial too, so this is what you could make. Well, I am impressed, needless to say. I uh, wish we could just use that template. So let's click start your email. All right, so let's do a little bit of basic designing here. Let's drag in an image on the right, and we're gonna click on top of the image and edit it. Upload file, we'll grab one of our nice surfing images. Browse your computer. All right, we're gonna get beginner surf and upload files. And done. And hover on the image and click insert. All right, now we're gonna change the text. Now we're gonna highlight the text, change the font to Tahoma and bring it down in size. Exclamation mark and done. And then we are gonna get a button. So let's get a button right here. We're gonna pop that in Good. So that undo button at the top is pretty useful. All right, now I'm gonna hit enter and change the font size down to 16 and write your destination. Now we're gonna go down to the body text, click on it to edit, and we're just gonna change this one up so it's a little bit more to our brand. All right, done, and we're gonna link an ebook in a second. So let's just get rid of this image at the top, done. I'm gonna to try to put our logo in in this top header. Bring in an image, put it around the side there. Image, edit, upload file, browse computer, surf logo version one, and grab it. And upload files. And done. 
hover on it and insert. Now we can click on the image and actually drag it so it's smaller. And you can see if we click on the image, we can move it to the right or the left, but not the center. Ideally, we want this first email newsletter to actually somewhat resemble our homepage so that people get that feeling that they're going from the email form to the website and back and forth. Basically, email forms are essentially just a tool to get you more traffic and more eyeballs on your offers. So if they look like your website, then you're off to a good start. All right, scrolling down, our email looks perfect. We can, of course, change up the colors if you wanted. All that can be done. Color. All right, super cool. So the last thing we need to do is actually put our ebook in an email. How do we put the ebook in an email? Well, it's actually really easy. You just create the ebook in something like Microsoft Word. So here we have our beautiful Learn How to Surf in Under 30 Days ebook. Once you create your ebook, all you need to do is just save it as a PDF. So to do that, I'm just going to go to Save As in the upper right. All right, and then I'm actually going to go to File Format PDF which says best for electronic distribution and accessibility. That's what we want to do. We're going to give it out to people online and then just click export. So now our ebook went from Word to a PDF, really easy. We now just need to go back to your website and open up any page on it. All right. And what some people like doing is putting the PDF into a WordPress page via a link. I just like putting it into the email. So to put the PDF in the email, you just need to go to the dashboard click media, click add new, and we're gonna upload the PDF by hitting select files and just finding it and opening it. So just like an image, you can upload a PDF to your WordPress. All right, then you just need to click it to open it and you'll have a link to the PDF, which is the most important part. Just copy that. And now you can share this link anywhere. You could email this link to someone or share it on Facebook, but in our case, we just wanna put it into, of course, our constant contact email. So let's go back to Constant Contact and just highlight the anchor text for our ebook, which is the title of it. Now I'll hit Link and hit Web Page. All right, and then right click and paste. All right, and then Insert and done. Now people can just click and open it in a new web page, or they can actually just right click and download the file. So I'm going to give a little note saying, please click to read or right click save as to download your free ebook and that's really all it is it's really that simple to create an ebook bloggers have been doing it for years and hit done all right our email looks perfect now you could of course go crazy with it but i think simple is the way to go here so let's just make sure to save it and we'll hit continue all right, so we're gonna to choose to send to any list. Subject, welcome to our school is good. From our school is good. And all it's gonna ask you is just to put a physical address here. You need this because of the email subscription laws that are on the internet today. So you can make this a PO box or really an address where you do business is ideal. All right, so of course I'm gonna use Chelsea Market here. Super cool. All right, beautiful, so we have an address now. We just need to activate our email. All right, so if you get an error like this one, it just means we need to verify our email on a different screen before we set this up. So we got a little ahead of ourselves. Let's click on our name and let's click on my settings. And let's click verify address. So constant contact can get a little bit feisty if we haven't verified our own email and the status of it now is email send verification pending. So we actually just need to pop over to Gmail and click on a link there. Let's open up Constant Contact's email and click verify this email. Beautiful. Now we'll click take me to Constant Contact. Okay, great. So now that we're here, let's go back to campaigns and let's click more and edit on our welcome email. And now let's go to continue where we were before. And let's go through this process and cross our fingers and hope it works. So a specific list, general interest. All right, the from address is now in there and verified as is the reply to address. So that should make it work. And for address, we're just gonna pop in what we had before. 
Chelsea Market. All right, now with everything in here properly, let's scroll up and let's hit activate and cross our fingers. And it worked, yay, so we just had to verify that email address. Sorry about that additional step. So it says, nice work, now all new contacts who join through your sign-up forms will receive this welcome email. That's exactly what we want. Okay, and you're gonna get stats on how many people opened it, how many people it sent to, how many people clicked on your links for your eBooks, and so on and so forth. You can really dive in, do a little deep dive on the stats if you want. But for now, I just wanna make sure that we have everything here at CC looking good. And then we'll pop over to WordPress and make sure everything is working there. So let's click campaigns. All right, and our welcome email is active. It's gonna to go to our general interest email list, which is great. And if you wanna set up more emails to go out to your new subscribers, just click create in the upper right. Boom. Okay, so now let's go back to WordPress. 